Hello everybody and welcome to another Forza Horizon 5 video. Last time we drove this car, the BMW X5M. For some reason I thought this was the X6M. Because I looked at the back of the emblem and it kind of looked like a 6. I don't know, I'm stupid. Anywho, we drove this thing last time. If you want to see that video, click on the banner in the top right of the screen. But today we will be driving something different. This is the car we will be focusing on today. The brand new... Ford Bronco. I think this thing looks way better than a Jeep Wrangler. It is new to Forza Horizon 5 and you get it straight off the start. It's one of the starter cars so it's really easy to get. Everyone has this car. First let's rev this thing and see how it sounds. Oh okay okay. Uh, this is completely stock by the way. Alright now let's launch this thing. Okay. It's got a little bit of something. Now, obviously, this is an off-road vehicle, so we're going to be doing some off-road races today. Some stats for you guys. This thing is B700 stock. It's all-wheel drive. Obviously, like, the normal stats aren't good, except the off-road. It's got 473 horsepower, which is more than I thought. It weighs 3,700 pounds, which is obviously quite heavy, but it's a pretty big vehicle. Let's go do a race with this thing stock. I say we test its off-road capabilities. Whoa, these are some big sand dunes. I didn't realize that they were this big. I haven't been off-roading over here yet. I'm gonna go over by the Baja Festival to do a race. Let's do this race. This is gonna be a slow start for everyone. All the gear changes up at the start. Jeez, how am I gonna pass that Mercedes? It's so big. Oh, okay. I think I figured it out. Uh-oh. Uh, get out of the way, X-Class. Oh, okay. Whoa. That was a weird jump. There's a lot of jumps in this race. I like it. Oh, going this way. A little, little bit of drift off-road. Just barely made the checkpoint. Big jump coming up here. Big jump. Oh. Hopefully the suspension's good do that constantly in this race. Two laps. Wait, why is it only two laps? I have to go up against another Bronco. We'll see who wins. Don't even need to slow down, just a little bit of skidding there. And we're back on the road. Oh, we're catching up. And he's gone. Yeah, this thing seems pretty good for just B-Class. I like the look of it, mostly. I mean, there's nothing special about it in B-Class, except it looks awesome, in my opinion. First place. I mean, it's not the fastest, but it's still pretty good. Oh, just what I wanted. Brown knee-high socks. Alright, next I want to see how good this thing is in A-Class, and then we'll go do an all-out build. Uh, should we swap an engine into this thing? Um, first of all, let's see what engine options there is. There's the stock, 6.2 liter V8. Ooh, that's nice. 5.8 liter V8. That's not bad either. Racing 7.2 liter V8. Not bad. 7.4 liter V8 twin turbo adds 1,200 horsepower and a racing V6 twin turbo. That's not bad. Uh, I don't really think that there's that much we can do with this car's cornering ability. I mean, I could go with the racing V6 twin turbo. Wait, it's 250,000 credits? Uh, that's not worth it. Uh, it's 441 more horsepower. I'm surprised we can fit that in our next class. But I think we're just going to go with the 5.8 liter V8. Can we add a turbo on it? Oh, twin turbo, huh? Is there any arrow for this thing? Oh, there's a big old bull bar kind of thing there. Nice. I'm not going to add that because that adds weight. 
Oh, you can remove the spare tire. That's interesting. In my opinion, that kind of makes the back of the car look bland. But it does make it look a bit more clean. I'm going to keep that thing on. What do we got for side skirts? Uh, is, is there a difference? I, I literally don't see a difference in side skirts. Is there, like, is it, like, somewhere else? Am I missing something? Okay, we're just gonna keep our stock ones then. And hood, what do we got for hood? We got some big old lights up on the top. We got a little bar of lights at the bottom. And both. I'm not gonna put any on. Alright, what tire compound are we on? Uh, I don't know what we're on stock. We can add off-road race tires, so I think we're going to do that. Let's widen these boys up a bit. I, don't, I, I like the stock rims, so I'm going to keep them. Can we remove any weight out of this thing? Oh, it already has the race weight reduction installed. That's interesting. I didn't even do any upgrades to it. Okay. And then you can add rally spring and dampers. Okay. It doesn't look like it adds any ride height, but it says in the stats it helps us a little bit, so why not? Uh, oh, we already have partially upgraded brakes. That's interesting. Uh, we'll add the best brakes we can. And we'll change the anti-roll bars. Why not? Uh, all right. Anything in the drivetrain? We've got a race clutch. Ooh, transmission. So we can add just a race transmission or an 8-speed. We've got the 8-speed. It says that it decreases stuff, but this actually increases the launch if I were to do those. Oh, that's interesting. The 9-speed increases launch the most, but everything else is terrible. So I wonder if that would be good for, like, drag racing. That's interesting. It's good that all the gearboxes actually have, like, different stats, and they're not exactly the same. Uh, but I think we'll go with the 6-speed. Why not? Differential. Alright, we've got an off-road diff. Good. Alright. Can we do any engine upgrades? I'm guessing we can't add twin turbo. Oh, we can! Oh, it's not that much horsepower. Alright, we'll do race twin turbos. Camshaft. Yep, okay, nope. We can't do that. It brings us into S2 class. Uh, let's see, what else? Displacement? We can do that. Then can we put on an intake? Yes, A800, exactly. Awesome. Alright, so now we have 798 horsepower. That's a significant increase. We are slightly heavier, but I'm willing to sacrifice that. 68,000 credits. Yes, please. So here's the tune for the A class Bronco. And here's the share code. All right, let's see how this thing sounds. Oh, nice. All right, so the next race is up the volcano, as you may see from that white line up there. So why don't we climb it with this thing? This thing's meant for off-roading. Let's test that ability. We'll see how well this goes. I don't expect this to be too good. You never know. If we have enough speed going up it, might be pretty good. This thing's pretty quick now. Uh, oh yeah, I think the Bronco can go up this. Let's test it. Wow, this thing sucks at off-roading. Can't go up a 90 degree angle. It's so sad. Alright, let's see if we can actually go up here now. Not much speed, but we got some. Let's see if we can get up to our race pretty quickly. Hopefully we'll avoid the rocks. Wow, this is some pretty steep angles here and I'm surprised we're getting up here. It still says 2.1 miles, it's about to update. No, all right. 2.1 miles if we take the road, a lot less if we go off road. Oh, okay, that's not, okay. Good thing that hard top roof is sturdy. In 400 yards, you will arrive at your destination.
Wow, I'm surprised we made it that easily. All right, let's see how good this thing is in A class. Well, <laughs> it's already quicker. Notice that. Are we just going? Okay, we're going straight down the mountain. Nice. Get some good speed here. We're going past everyone. Oh my god. It's like the starter mission when you first get the game. Oh my god, we are going quick. Oh my god, that Willy's Jeep was drifting. Okay, brake, brake, brake. We definitely need a brake now. That tiny little Willy's Jeep is ripping it. Oh, tight corner. Drift that one. Maybe not the quickest, but it looked cool. Whoa! That's a big jump. And break at, at directly after. Oh, he spun out! Yes! Oh, and I hit him. Whoops. Sorry about that. Whoa. Okay, this is a cool race with a lot of jumps. Alright, this thing seems pretty good. It's a bit quicker and seems slightly better handling, but not much. But this thing's pretty good for A-class. Drift. Okay, that was not ideal. That was. Oh, a big jump. Big old jump, right here. Uh, did not phase the Bronco. Big old jump to finish off the race. Final corner. And we have won. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, he was getting pretty close. Well, that thing seems pretty good. All right, I set this thing to default upgrades. Now we're going to do an all-out build. We want to keep all-wheel drive. All right, what engine has the most horsepower? I think it's that one. How much horsepower do we have at the end of that? 1,750. Jesus. Uh, I'm not going to add any of that. Do the off-road race tires. Thicken up the tires. This time I will change the rims if there is any lighter ones, which obviously there is. Oh, these are cool. It has a little blue rim on the outside, kind of like their car. That's cool. We'll do those. All right, let's see what we can do in the drivetrain. Race clutch. We'll just do the six-speed transmission again. Uh, Off-road diff. All right, bigger brakes. Rally suspension. Anti-roll bars. And we will remove 1,000 pounds from this thing, making it 3,700 pounds. Cool. We don't actually have any more engine upgrades when we put that big ol' engine in it. At the end of it, we weigh 3,700 pounds and have 1,700 horsepower. We're almost at S2 class in this thing. Here is the maxed out build and the share code. All right, now we've got this big ol' engine. Let's rev this thing. All right, all right. Now let's launch this thing. Yeah, obviously a lot quicker. Jeez, quite a bit quicker. 150. Yeah, we couldn't do 150 stock. Oh my god, these are some big old jumps when you got a big engine. Jesus. Alright, now let's see how this thing is maxed out. And everyone else is probably close to being maxed out too. Uh oh. The problem is, when I'm quick, everyone else is really quick. Big ol' jump. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm gonna make it to the checkpoint. Oh my god. I jumped way farther than he did. Going through a neighborhood, casually. As you may expect, this thing doesn't handle very well. But it is mighty quick. Okay. Big jump. Okay. This is going to be hard to recover from. And we come first place by a mile. 
as you may expect with any card that's maxed out, it's just fast. It's really fast. Well, that'll be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and turn on notifications to get notified when I post more Horizon 5 videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.